Whoop, back to work. Get out of my way, piggy. Hop. Hello everybody and welcome. I'm still working on my enormous compass rose in the desert here, so I hope I can finish that this episode. Right now I'm just putting some more water in place in one of the needles. And that's starting to look like something on the map here. So time to add another dirt needle. This one is pointing north. And it's easier terrain, no sand dunes or mountains now. Hmm, well, there is this water feature though, that can't stay there. The needle will go straight through it anyway, so it'll be filled in. And that looks like the length it'll be. And from here back to the center line. It's uh, all very repetitive. I'm filling this with cobblestone, the final dirt layer comes on top of it. But I have enough cobblestone and I'm actually running a bit out of dirt at the moment. So I can't afford to use it just for filling stuff in. Of course, once I replace the dirt with some other material, I'll have loads of the stuff again. And for the diagonal lines, I'm not sure yet what material to use there. Maybe just stone bricks? Okay, and now I just need to dig out this needle and put the dirt top layer in. Also, I'm getting a lot of sand out of this project, so I could just build some glass castle or anything. Well, it all goes into storage for now anyway. And down to the last layer now. Let's get rid of that real quick. Note this is not real time, but I have heard pickaxes enchanted with efficiency are not far off.
Well, that's almost all gone. Now to put the dirt layer in. So you see how quickly a stack of dirt is gone in here. But that also means that whatever material I decide to use for this, I need to have a lot of it. Or at least be able to get a lot of it. So I'm afraid diamond blocks are not exactly a realistic option. Well, I wouldn't have gone for that anyway, because that doesn't show up differently from, for example, gold blocks on the map. And the whole point of this project is to have a compass rose on the map. That's why I use water as first material, because the blue contrasts with the yellow of the sand. So I suppose I can choose grey from stone or wool, or a bit bluish grey from clay blocks, or else bright red from lava, but then again I'll need to bucket in a lot of lava, which doesn't stack. So that would be possible, but very time consuming. And I don't think it will look nice on the map either. And of course, I could just leave the dirt, have it brown, or have grass growing on it. Well, I'll see about that later. So, how are we doing here? Well, it's still coming along well. Terrain isn't as tough to go through as in the previous episode. Still some digging or filling in required, but I can keep a good overview of the situation. And that's another water needle done. Let's get the northern section finished. And here's the small pool of water we saw earlier, so let's fill it in now. And that's that. Now we get to an area though, which is mostly stone. And it's a deep hole too, almost like an excavation area. Few resources in here though. Um, maybe it's better if I go outside first before I fill that in. 
that's better. So I had a high mountain to dig through in the first part. Now I have a hole to fill. Oh well, I have plenty of cobblestone for that. Now just to get a shape of the North Needle in here. And a sand layer, the water will go on top of that. And that looks to me like a finished North Needle. Now we can clearly see something on the map already. Maybe I could have built it a bit more to the east though, but it's still fine as it is. And I do think there's a much higher sand mountain over there to dig through anyway. Go away you, I have enough of this hole to fill already. Oh, well, thanks very much. So yeah, more dirt. Ah, I like those last few blocks filling in. And then this is the last needle, and also the east needle. So no mountain here, but a hole.
And the final dirt layer on here too. Ooh, hey, you come to help? You can put that sand right there, thank you. And I got some more endermen to fill this part of the East Needle. Now it's ready for the water. That's almost done now, just a few more areas to work on. But it's looking really nice on the map, if I say so myself. I only need to fill this in with water now. Well, I do believe that this is the entire compass rose all done now. The shape of it anyway, still need to think about replacing the dirt and what to do in between the needles. And this pool is a bit too close now, I think, so I just fill it in. There, now that shouldn't interfere with the pattern on the map anymore. And let's see if we can get a better point to look at this gigantic thing now. From those trees over there maybe. Oh yeah, that looks great! I want to have a better look at it still though, so let's see what we can do about that. I need to get up higher, I suppose. Oh yes, there we go. That is just amazing, really. And let's see how that looks on the map then. Well, it's there. And this is a good opportunity to try out some alternative materials. How about plain white wool? Or light blue? A yellow wool? Or something else than wool, like just stone. Pumpkins, perhaps? Or... Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time.